Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and today we have a performance comparison between Elementor versus Gutenberg. So these two popular WordPress page builders, we're going to put these head to head in some performance benchmarks. I know a lot of you have been asking about this, so if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Okay, to do this, we set up two identical pages. So I've got the About Us page from this starter template called the Workplace. Now this is a fairly standard looking contemporary design. This one is set up using Elementor. So I've got this on subdomain number one, About Us by Elementor. So this is our Elementor demo site that we're gonna be testing on. And similarly, number two is the Gutenberg version of the same page. So this is the workplace, exactly the same About Us page, same pictures, same content, same layout. So we can perform benchmarks on these pages and we can compare their loading speed and the overall performance of these pages. If you're interested in how I did this, it's using this plugin called Starter Templates. You can get that by searching for Starter Templates in your plugins section and you can go ahead and install and activate this Starter Templates plugin. Like I was saying, this is really good because you can get free templates and sometimes they even have a free version for Elementor and the identical site built in Gutenberg as well. So in the case of the workplace template, I was able to find an Elementor version and a Gutenberg version so we can compare them directly. So this is what the page looks like if you decide to install it. It's a pretty standard looking five page template and I decided to run the test on the about page because it's a fairly simple looking thing um, that should be uh, representative of what a lot of websites look like today. All right, so all these tests will run on the same server. I was using a Vulture high frequency, one CPU, one gigabyte server. I actually show a tutorial on how to set one of these servers up Previously, if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description. You can get a free 30-day trial, actually, so it's pretty cool. It's worth trying this one out. I had Nginx caching turned on and no other WordPress caching plugins. Uh, both pages on the same server and each installed on separate WordPress installs on separate subdomains, like I showed you before. One was on subdomain one, one was on subdomain number two. And then we ran tests using gtmetrics.com, webpagetest.org, and one called usagedd plugin. So I'm gonna go through these in just a second. Okay, so over on gtmetrics.com, using a free account, you can go ahead and sign up and get a free account if you're interested, but you can do a page comparison. You put in the URL from the two different pages and you can see the difference in their performance. So this is actually how it turned out. Elementor on the left, Gutenberg on the right here, Gutenberg loading in 1.2 seconds, Elementor loading in 1.4 seconds. So both pretty good load times, Gutenberg a little bit faster, 200 milliseconds faster. And notably, the actual page size is a bit smaller with Gutenberg. So you save 200 kilobytes of data and you make quite a few less requests. So 25 less uh, requests compared to the 55 from Elementor. So while there is a difference, it's not a particularly big difference and it's not really that noticeable. Let's go ahead and look at the video of this loading. All right, so one of these is loading on the left and the other one is loading on the right. So I've got an Elementor page here and a Gutenberg page. They're loading simultaneously so you can see the difference. I haven't shown you which one is which. I wonder if you can tell. So just watch this very carefully. Watch them load up and see if you can tell which one is a little bit faster. Like we saw before, there's only two tenths of a second difference. So just watch carefully. I'm gonna show you in a second which one was which, but um, I think those of you who are a bit clever, watch carefully, you might be able to tell. All right, congratulations to those of you who got this right. If you watch the Elementor one carefully on the left here, you can see that this page, uh, the image actually loads progressively, so it scans down the page, whereas the Gutenberg image sort of just pops on. I think that's the main difference there, and that's probably the difference between those two tenths of a second. So very subtle, but definitely a small difference. All right, so those tests were done using an unthrottled desktop connection. What happens if we slow the connection down? So in this next test, I used the mobile LTE connection. And so the page speed slowed down, but the difference stayed about the same. So the Elementor page loaded in 2.5 seconds, the Gutenberg one tenth of a second faster. The page size difference and the page request difference, those stayed the same. So uh, overall, the actual difference between the page builders only adds a very small amount to the load time, but still it does add a small amount. 
Okay, so over on webpagetest.org, using an even slightly slower connection this time, a mobile 4G connection, we see the similar sort of uh, theme here where the times are very, very close. I think the thing that's important here is this largest contentful paint. That is the way that hero image loaded onto the screen. So the elemental one being slightly slower, but um, a slight visible difference that Gutenberg was slightly quicker there. So, and again, we've got the same uh Difference in document complete there, a couple, um, a couple hundred uh, kilobytes difference there with the Gutenberg page being smaller and much lower in the number of requests that it makes. And finally, we use this one called Usage DD by Dion Designs. If you search for Dion, this one should pop up. This is really cool because you can run um, some tests on your WordPress backend and see the results on the server side. So when you activate that, you actually get this little indicator down the bottom of your screen that will show you the uh, database queries, the first byte time, and the time to generate the page and the amount of memory used by the page. So this is our Elementor page here. And this is all done server side. So it's really good in terms of comparing apples to apples, what is actually happening on WordPress itself. So 84 database queries, we've got a time to first byte on the server of only 0.08 seconds and a page load on the server of 0.19 seconds using nearly 12 megabytes of memory there. So this is our Elementor page. So on the actual server, it takes less than two tenths of a second to generate this page. But if we go over to Gutenberg, we can see this is where you can see the performance difference. Only 50 queries compared to the 84. We've got a time to first byte, which is about the same, uh, 0 0.07 versus 0 0.08. So the first byte time, basically the same. And the actual load time is less than half on Gutenberg. But we're dealing with fairly small numbers here. So 0 0.09 seconds versus 0 0.19 seconds. So only one tenth of a second, even though it's twice as fast. And then in terms of memory, we're only using uh, less than five meg to load this in Gutenberg, but using 12 meg to use Elementor. So I think that's a big uh, difference there in terms of memory, but when you've got lots of memory to play with, it probably doesn't really matter. I think the main difference to really take away from here is the actual load speed on the server, uh, 0.2 versus 0.1. So that's really like that 0.1 difference that we saw on our benchmarks. That's the real difference between Gutenberg in, and Elementor is that 0.1 seconds. So finally for our conclusions, we can say that Elementor probably adds 0.1 to maybe 0.2 seconds to the overall load time. And it's small, it's a slightly visible difference as we saw on our video comparison, but it's not a really big difference that's gonna change the user experience all that much. So what you've probably realized by now is that 80% of your load time is determined by your hosting, your CDN, like using Cloudflare or Bunny CDN, and your caching. The actual choice of page builder, it makes a small difference, but it doesn't make most of the difference. I think most of the difference comes from choosing quality hosting and then running it through a CDN, like I did in my previous Cloudflare tutorial. You can even get quite good load times using cheap uh, web hosting with a good uh, CDN setup. So um, check out that video too. I'll put that in the description. And finally, using caching like Lightspeed and Nginx on the server, plus you can add optimization plugins on WordPress. These things can give you some performance time as well. So I think the thing to really take home here is your hosting and CDN. These are gonna be the bulk of your performance. If you've got bad hosting, it doesn't really matter if you're using Elementor or Gutenberg, you're gonna get a bad result. I did show you in a previous video that you can kind of uh, mask over it by using Cloudflare for some pages, but for dynamic pages, you just need good hosting. So I will pop up my previous tutorials right here where I set up Vulture high frequency on a fairly cheap $6 setup. So this is quite fast hosting for not much money. So check that one out. And I'll also put up my tutorial on setting up Cloudflare CDN. You can set up a CDN for free and get good performance on your static pages. So check those two out. I'll see you next time.